So Marvel and Disney have been taking some heat for utilizing AI in the opening title sequence for Secret Invasion. To me, it's an interesting choice, and although an argument can be made that this is Marvel and Disney trying to penny pinch, I actually do believe that this was an intentional artistic choice on well, someone's part. Not to nerd out too hard, but the series does involve a race of shape-shifting aliens called the Skrulls, so that kind of shifting hallucinogenic AI video generation look is actually kind of apt for this. That said, I do find the overall look a, a little janky. And I'm not trying to take shots at anyone involved in the creation of this title sequence. I just kind of thought that I could do a better one. So instead of rage typing on Twitter, I decided to do just that. And I did it in about an afternoon. I'm going to show you how you can do it too. And again, I am in no way trying to bash or diminish the work that the people at Method Studios who created the title sequence did. So let's take a look at my version of the opening. I'll show you how I made it and how you can make it as well. We'll actually rip apart my version. And then we'll wrap up with some overall thoughts, plus a look at a different method that I actually think would have been a lot cooler for this. And as a quick note, I am not using the theme to Secret Invasion. Instead, I am using one that I cribbed together myself. All right, let's dim the lights and check it out. So feel free to nitpick, but that was all done in about six hours. That's everything from the visuals to the titles to the score. Is it great? No. But is it better than the original title sequence? I might be biased, but I mean, I kind of think so. And look, even if you don't really care for my version, you have to admit that it's at least on par. Okay, so let's take a look at how you can put this together or do something completely different. So for the purposes of this, I decided to take the approach that there was a creative brief dictating direction. So I grabbed the trailer and found textless frames for each of the images. Screen grabbing each one of those, I then took everything over to the AI image generator, Midjourney. So Midjourney actually has a really interesting feature called describe in which you could upload an image issue a describe command, and then the AI will tell you what it sees in your image. It's always interesting to see how the AI perceives things because it can be both hilariously wrong and kind of interestingly right. For example, in this image of Fury on, I guess, a scroll ship, Midjourney returns with references to the Matrix movies, which, yeah, I mean, I guess I could see it. Whereas in this image of Fury, uh, Midjourney returns to us with at least three references to the Green Lantern, which again, I can see it. So I ended up going through each of these images, running a describe on it and finding an output that looked relatively close to 
the original title sequence. So after I generated a doppelganger for every shot that was in the title sequence, I then took everything over to Kyber.ai. Kyber, if you are unaware, is a AI video generator, most notably used recently for the Linkin Park video Meteora. If you're interested in learning about Kyber, I have a full tutorial on it that is linked below. So utilizing our mid-journey outputs, I then ran them as image prompts in Kyber and then had the option to upscale it up to 1080 HD or 4K. Now I will say it does often take a little bit of work. Um, for example, in this output in which I was trying to get the policemen to turn into scrolls, I just kind of ended up with a weird like emoji alien kind of hanging out in the background of the shot. Or in this shot, which was originally this shot in the title sequence, I'm not sure who that character is. I don't, I've only seen the first episode and at the time I was making this, I hadn't even seen that yet. Um, so I prompted for an older mysterious man um, and ended up getting this weird output where like Sigmund Freud appears in the background there and it looks like a weird therapy session. If you're not aware, the reason that AI video has that kind of weird shifting look is because the way it works is that each frame of video is generating off the previous frame of video. It's almost a case of whisper down the lane in which you know you start off with one image and by the time you get to the end, it's something completely different. That said, there are some newer AI video generators that are starting to develop that actually solve this problem. So we'll see where we are in a few months or weeks. But there were also a lot of shots that I thought were really cool. Like this one, for example, where the world sort of turns sideways to reveal a scroll eye looking down. It's, I think that's actually a super cool shot. And then there's this shot of Fury, which I actually really like a lot. Um, there is the problem that a weird patch keeps appearing on the side of his jacket. That's something that outside of the confines of this little AI experiment, I might go in and roto out. So once I had all of my shots generated, I simply went through and laid them over the existing title sequence. The score was not AI generated, although if you are interested in learning a technique on that, uh, you could check out my video on how to become the AI Hans Zimmer. So for this, I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to generate anything near as good as uh, Chris Bowers did. Chris Bowers is a real deal composer and is probably like 300 times the musician that I am. So I just decided to go in a different direction and kind of mash a Western vibe with a sort of modern sci-fi vibe. The Western theme was kind of the idea of Nick Fury as the old gunslinger returning to a town that had been overrun by bandits. This track is the original score, so I just laid that in and muted it so that I would have a reference of, you know, roughly the timings of everything. Titling was fairly straightforward. I just, you know, found the font and then just kind of eyeballed it on top. If you are curious or if you ever need it, that font is Jose Finn's Sands. I did cheap out on the title card. Uh, they have a very nice 3D one going on here. I just used a stock Premiere template. So I do have an alternate look for the overall title sequence that I think actually might have been cooler. We're going to take a look at that in just one second. But first, in defense of Method Studios, this was apparently a very small team within the larger confines of that studio. And I'll say, given the lead time for a project like this, which, you know, involves approvals and notes and legal clearances, uh, this picture could have been locked months ago, which means that we're looking at months old technology, which probably doesn't seem like that much, but at the speed that AI is moving, months might as well be years. And while I find this to be a pretty interesting step for AI video generation, I do also get the backlash. Disney and Marvel do not have the greatest track record when it comes to the treatment of their artists. In fact, as recent as the Disney Plus show Hawkeye, fans were boycotting that show because the series artist David Aja was not properly credited or apparently compensated. On the other side, most professionals in the VFX industry think that this whole AI controversy is a bit overblown. And to that, Method Studios has issued a statement which reads, no artist's jobs were replaced by incorporating these new tools. Instead, they complemented and assisted our creative teams. Method Studio's team of designers skillfully leveraged the power of both existing and custom AI technologies to apply the otherworldly and alien look. The entire process, guided by expert art direction, encompassed the initial storyboard phase, illustration, AI generation, 2D, 3D animation, and culminated in the final compositing stage. My overall thoughts are, it's fine. Um, it's not the most captivating or interesting title sequence I've seen in a while, but I'm also fairly bored of that 3D composited look that every title sequence from The Last of Us to Silo seems to have these days. 
it's all kind of the same look. So, you know, if AI comes in and has the ability to shake that up a little bit, I'm all for it. Kyber itself has a video to video option, which will produce results like this. And while I don't think that this would work for a title sequence, I do think that you could generate this way, hand it off to a team of After Effects artists and create something really cool and stylized out of it. So let me know your thoughts on the secret invasion controversy. And if you didn't like my sequence, that's cool. Go make your own. You have the ability to do so. And I, for one, would love to see it. I thank you for watching. My name is Tim.